Hello, today's video is on stock number 35795TE, the uh, mini component tester. Uh, today's video is just to give you a feeling of it, how it works, how it operates. So uh, let's look. Um, first off, it has an internal battery. So it comes with a little short uh, USB cable to charge the unit. Uh, it's a, located at the bottom. It has a little red in indicator showing you uh, when it's charging. Uh, it comes with three little test clips. If you can't use a zip socket, you can use a little each of the little test clips to to test your your component and three little header pins for it as such. Uh, as you can see the size, these are one inch square, so it's about three and a half inches wide. I'm sorry, about three inches wide, a little over three and a half inches long. Uh, let's see what else we got here. The ZIF socket, uh, it's all it's labeled one, two, three, one, two, three, two. And in the lower left it says KAA, uh, that's for uh, Zener diodes only. I'll, I'll explain that to you in a moment. And one, two, three, three. Uh, all the ones are tied together, all the twos are tied together, all the threes are tied together. It's just different spacing for different components. So if you're using a two leaded device, you would have to make sure you're between one and, and two and three. You, you know, you cannot stick a, a single a device like that into a, a one socket and a one socket and have it measured. So just keep that in mind. You must, you must use different numbers. Okay, first thing I like, this is the on-off. You can turn it on. Uh, you see here you have one that says IR. And in, in this mode, just turning it on, I'm going to use my little remote for the camera. And you can see it will start displaying the different codes. So it, it will read most IR remotes. That's another button. And you can, you can, you can test remotes with it. Uh, you can certainly uh, scroll down and look at the specifications and get the full ranges of what it will test. So I'm just, like I said, I'm going to quickly go through some devices here, some different components, and see what they're like, just so you can see. Okay, the first component I would like to test is uh, one uh, millihenry, an inductor. Let's go ahead and stick it in there, close it, press the button, goes into test mode. And it uh, measures 0.95 microhenries, so it's pretty close. It's got a silver stripe, which is about 10% 10 accuracy. So that's next is the Zener diode. Now this is the like we were talked about earlier, the only specialized actually K uh, for cathode, anode, anode. This is the only one you do have to have uh, the polarity in correctly. So let me go ahead and put that in there. This, this section is for Zener diodes only. As you see, it tested it. Uh, Zener recognized it. 7.45, yes, that's a 7.5 Zener diode. Okay, next one would be just a standard 1N4007. Stick it in there. Press the test. There you go, it tells you the four voltage drop there because that's the diode. Now, um, the numbers that are displayed here, one, two, three, are all reference to how you have the part turned in here. So you see, I, if I, I turn this part around, now you see it's pointing the other direction. So just keep that in mind. These numbers are strictly referenced to. Uh, to how you, how you have the part plugged into it. Okay, you can use the test diodes, LEDs. There you go, it shows you, and it shows you what the, the forward voltage drop across the diode is. Then we have a nice little uh, electrolytical capacitor. I looked this up, these are all only about two to two, that doesn't work. Only about 20, plus or minus 20%. Uh, rate. It's 330 microfarad. And you can see it's measuring 292. Still within tolerance, but hmm, I wouldn't expect it to be that far out of tolerance. So capacitor. Now we get into a nice little uh, 2N 3906, a PNP. Oops. 
and you can see it recognizes PNP. And like I said, you have to be careful. It depends on how you have the on the numbers of how you have it plugged in compared to a data sheet. So be careful with that. Now we got a good old standard uh, PN two 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 two. Press and test. NPN. There again, you can see. Okay. Let's see what we have here. This is a uh, IRF 520 N-channel MOSFET. So let's stick it in. One, two, three. As you can see, recognizes it. And last but not least, just a standard resistor. I just happen to find a 12K ohm resistor. Yeah, 11.93K ohms, so 12K resistor. Okay, I think that covers most of the operations. I think it would give you a good feeling of how it works, how it looks. A uh, nice color LCD, which they say is 1.8. Let's see how, how they, they measure those diagonally, don't they? But uh, if you were to measure across just under an inch, inch and a half, inch and a half. Okay, I think that will cover most of uh, most of the testing. Uh, some of the parts I just didn't couldn't find readily what time of making this video. So, have any questions? Let us know. And thank you for watching our video.